Hello, everyone, and welcome to Insider Financial Talk Stocks. My name is Alex Carlson. I will be your host today, the editor-in-chief of InsiderFinancial.com. And in this video, we will recap today's market action and discuss our game plan for tomorrow. But first up, to get our market moving reports on top small caps, click that link in the description or go to signup.insiderfinancial.com or sign up with your email on any of the pop-ups on InsiderFinancial.com. After you sign up with your email, you can then sign up with your mobile number. Mobile is the fastest way to get our report and it works for all numbers worldwide. Simply enter your country code first followed by your number. For US and Canada, be one plus area code and number. Never begin the format with zero, it will not work. And after you sign up, you will get a welcome email which includes a free copy of the Insider Financial Guide to Penny Stocks ebook. Our ebook, our email service, and our text messaging service are all free services from insiderfinancial.com. We do not run any paid subscription service whatsoever, no Discord rooms or Telegram chat groups. And speaking of reports, we have a new profile that we are going to be releasing tomorrow sometime during the session. This one operates in a niche sector and has been seeing substantial revenue growth year over year after boasting a more than 50% jump over the previous year's revenues. They recently announced they are on track to do more of the same with Q1 revenues up more than 10% over for first quarter of the previous year. They have a substantial user base and operate in a growing sector. Couple that with a tiny float and a low price price per share and we have something that you are going to want to research. I have more details arriving in the morning so make sure you are checking your in inbox. Well, guys, there hasn't been much to do in the markets this week. Uh, last night, I put this out on stock twits uh, and Twitter. I said, rough day in the markets. Uh, Tesla earnings call not helping sentiment. Only ICU looks interesting for tomorrow. Good luck. That was posted also on Twitter last night. And ICU was up 54%. So we are still calling bangers here at insiderfinancial.com. And the stock is up 100% for the week. And this comes on the back of the news. The company, uh, the FDA granted C-Star Medical Selective Cytophoretic Device Breakthrough Device de Designation for Hepatoneural Syndrome. So that was the big news. That's what got the market excited. And that is why the stock is up 100% this week. Uh, congrats to those that uh, caught the move in ICU. But for the overall market, uh, it was all about Powell's noon speech today. Uh, Fed Chief Powell speaking at the Economic Club of New York acknowledged in prepared remarks that lower inflation readings over the summer was a very favorable development while also reiterating that inflation was still too high. Furthermore, in the question and answer session, Powell said that there was evidence that the monetary that monetary policy was not too tight right now. So basically, uh, traders now are, are uh, not anticipating a rate hike uh, in the November meeting, but he left uh, open the possibility of uh, one in December. So he's leaving his options uh, open. Uh, crude oil traded over $90 uh, at one point following report U.S. bases in Iraq and Syria were targeting drone attacks, while an American destroyer in the Red Sea intercepted cruise missiles and drones fired toward Israel by Houthi rebels in Yemen. And gold is uh, near a uh, two-week high approaching $2,000 uh, bounced off the 1823 pivot low and is basically just you know with middle e war in the Middle East uh, it's just a flight to to safety so gold's caught a bid uh, uh, bond yields have, have gone higher and uh, the US dollar has strengthened um, as Jay Powell right now, uh, he's putting to bed any chance, as I said, of a November 1 rate hike. Uh, as to not let the markets get carried away, though, he left the door open for more rate hikes. Uh, short rates are falling right now. Uh, the U.S. two-year uh, pulled back. U.S. one-year yields pulled back. But the long end has been the one that has really been climbing. Uh, Short rates are signaling that, that uh, they feel the Fed is likely done, but the rise in long rates is proving again that they're losing their grip on that part of the market. So with the long rates rising, that is sort of like another uh, uh, Fed rate hike. So that is what's really got the market jittery. And then you have uh, you know CEOs are with earnings reports coming in on, on Tesla's earnings call. Uh, Elon Musk was just 
super bearish. Uh, he warned that high interest rates could sap uh, electric vehicle demand, uh, which knocked uh, the stock down 9% today. Um, yet some analysts are questioning whether a company can maintain their runaway growth that the company has had for years. That set it apart from other automakers. You also have the company in a price war. It's been lowering the prices, which, you know, margins have come down. Uh, there was not a lot to like with the Tesla earnings uh, call. He's concerned about the Cybertruck, uh, said that it's a big investment and that it will be uh, it will pay off down the road, uh, and that's not what in investors uh, uh, want to hear. What he said is, I'm worried, these are his exact words, I'm worried about the high interest rate environment that we're in. I just can't emphasize it enough that for the vast majority of people, buying a car is about a monthly payment. And as interest rates rise, the proportion of that monthly payment that is interest rate that, that is interest increases naturally. So if interest rates remain high or they go even higher, it's that much harder for people to buy a car. I think there's still quite a few shoes to drop on the bad credit situation. Now he's getting into the overall economic uh, picture. Commercial real estate obviously is in terrible shape. You know, credit card debt has been rising significantly. The credit card interest rates are usurious with over 20% interest rates, which over time, which over time becomes extremely punishing because if a consumer is paying 20% interest on their credit cards, it's because they cannot pay them off. And if you cannot pay them off and you're still accruing interest at 20%, that's headed to a bad place. So Elon was just extremely negative, uh, and uh, it just seems like he he's, uh, owns a lot of puts on the overall market and uh, is just was extremely bearish, and it definitely sounds like he is short the market. But there's, you know, in terms of the overall market, you know, Netflix had a good earnings report, but you got a red candle, so it, it gapped open, and then they, they, they sold into it. Uh, NVIDIA, it, there's concerns about the Biden, it, uh, they're going to be uh, limited. Limiting uh, sales of, of NVIDIA chips to China, uh, so that is going to uh, sap demand. Um, and there's just a, a flight to quality. Gold has caught a bid, as I said, uh, the U.S. dollar, and uh, and people are are, uh, are hiding out in treasuries. When you can get you know five percent on a, on on treasury notes. You know, why go and buy utilities? Why go buy, you know, real estate stocks? Why go buy high paying dividend stocks? Those stocks have gotten hurt the most because, you know, with, there's no risk with treasuries. You buy a one year, two year, you hold it to maturity. You are, you know, you won't lose any money and you collect 5%. So it's a safe bet right now. And, and that's what's going on. But for tomorrow, uh, there's not a whole lot that I'm seeing. There's only one stock on our radar, uh, and and that we will be releasing uh, sometime tomorrow during the session. As I said, this one operates in a niche sector and has been seeing substantial revenue growth year over year. Uh, we saw a 50% jump over the previous year's revenues. They have a substantial user base and operate in a growing sector. Couple that with two things, you know, three things actually: a tiny flow low price per share and uh, uh, short uh, shorts have a position this is going to be a stock that you are going to want to research and I will be, we will be sending more details in the morning so make sure you're checking your inbox and when you sign up guys you know it's the fastest way it, it comes via you know your SMS you get that SMS you can click our link read our full report it's all right there for you so that is the fastest way I know some of you uh, don't get notifications on your email email can be slow text messaging is the fastest way to get our reports and our alerts so make sure you click you uh, sign up with your phone as well mobile number as well and at insiderfinancial.com what we're doing here is is putting stocks on your radar with potential outsized moves as I've repeatedly stated there are always opportunities each day in the markets the important thing is identifying which stocks to be in to grab that money the key is trading green not red we are looking for those momentum plays that have catalysts 
It's all about finding the momentum before it happens and riding that wave. That's what we're doing here at InsiderFinancial.com. Finally, Insider Financial and I are not investment advisors. This video does not provide investment advice. Always do your research, make your own investment decisions, or consult with your nearest financial advisor. This video is on a solicitation or recommendation by Seller Hold Securities. This video is our opinion. It's meant for informational and educational purposes only and does not provide investment advice. Past performance is not indicative of future performance. Thanks for watching. Remember to smash that like button and hit the notification bell to be notified when a new video is uploaded. Have a great Friday, traders. Bye-bye.